Hello, Azumi here, and let's do Horace Felger, um, multi-solo. First, I'm going with Dina. A lot of dark AoE gear, and that's going to be the theme for this fight, is dark AoE gear. And we got uh, Genesis Shamir, and then Homura. And then we got Nabby. <clears throat> Just like I said, a lot of dark AoE gear. And last one is Momiji. So Momiji, I mean Nabby's costume is one of the ones that I love the most. So here we go with the fight. Okay, so we got the uh, Lightbird Racefelger. I guess that's how you say that. I have no idea. I'm terrible with these pronunciations of these names. But anyway, is considered a beast and is airborne, obviously. Um, the targeted races in this fight are going to be Aesir and Therian. They get afflicted with silence by Hooray and the farthest set of crystals. Um, this fight also has Mist Field on 8 star on the 2nd and 3rd HP bars. Also there is a Holy Field on 7 star and a High, he high Holy Field on 8 star. The most effective element here is going to be Dark. And that specifically Dark AoE damage. All the Crystals and Hooray are on the same row so any kind of AoE damage to any kind of row damage is going to hit all of them at once so make sure and use that to your advantage the uh, closest set of crystals to hooray has a shield against 50 percent of attack damage they also give a barrier to hooray that absorbs seven hits before it dissipates so that means you have to hit as long as that skill is active you have to hit hooray seven times before you can do any damage to him so taking out this set of crystals makes it way easier to reliably damage Hooray himself. The farthest set of crystals inflict silence to your frontmost hero if they are either Aesir or Therian. They also generate the respective high holy fields and regular holy fields. Some other characters you can use on this fight would be Fey, Not. DL, Kaguya, basically anyone that is dark and not Aesir or Therian would probably be your best bet. And again, that really depends on your gear too. If you don't have really good gear, then it's probably not going to matter what heroes you use. So for me, the... This fight really wasn't one of the harder ones. It was really easy, and honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying doing the 8-star uh, multi-solos. It's kind of a little bit of a challenge trying to come up with different teams for everything. And maybe sometimes I'll try some crazy teams that make no sense and still win, so we'll see. I've also been trying to keep a regular schedule of putting more videos out um it's hard for me to have a regular schedule like set upload times of every week of the same time but i'm trying to put out way more than i was and you can tell i'm just rambling now because i ran out of stuff to say about the fight But yes, like I said um, earlier, just make sure and use a lot of uh, dark AoE damage and makes it way easier to defeat him if you kill the two crystals that are closest. Um, I don't, my team really doesn't have a any kind of uh, damage debuffs or it would make it go a lot quicker. I didn't set up anything like that. Um, 
basically I'm using Homura because I don't have a lot of uses for her outside of PvP. Um, Genesis Ymir is a great light crystal crusher. And uh, uh, Dina, make Dina or whatever, however you say that, makes a really decent tank. Um, I use Nabi just because I said in the Mejid video that I only use Nabi for this. Well, you can use Nabi for the Hurray too. And Momiji because I can't use Luka because no Therians. So here we go with the damage. So you can get an overall estimate of how much you need to output to be able to beat it. And there you go. So have a good day.